Hello there, Kyle Katarn here. We're reacting to Star Wars Rebels, Season 4, Episode 11, Doom. Kanan Jarrus is fucking dead. The crew is trapped on the planet and they're on the run. Price just blew up all the Imperial fuel, and Hera got pretty drunk. Anyway, overall, it was a sweet episode, and I'm excited to find out what happens next. So, let's go. I mean, that was a big-ass explosion. The Jedi, Kanan Jarrus, has perished. The Jedi is dead. Are you certain? Yes, ma'am, but the fuel depot... ...is not my concern at the moment. It but should be, you dumbass. The fuel depot production lines for the TIE Defender will fall. Oh, Zeb looks so happy. He's hitting me for real now. Sabine? What's wrong? Sabine! They mean gone. They're captured? No! He's gone. Oh, Zeb's face. He looks so sad. He's really gone. Nothing like a mandatory celebration, off. man. General Sindula. Hera. What do you think? Hera needs time to grieve, man. She's she not going to be time. any use to anybody but today. We don't have time. We need a plan. I'm going to go add some fireworks to their celebration. Count me in. That's how Mand Mandalorians mourn. Well, what should we Blowing do? Blowing stuff up. There's nothing we can do. It's over. The hell is he supposed to do now? You didn't prepare me for this, Kanan. What do I do now? Whoa. I guess you know about Kanan too, then? Uh, I don't know what you want. Man, if Dave Filoni has Ezra get eaten by wolves right after Kanan fights it, I'm gonna laugh so hard. Just at the sheer ridiculousness. I know that's not what's gonna happen. That's the worst. It's like when you're trying to kill a spider and you don't know where it is anymore. Come on, Ezra, do your animal bonding thing that you do. Yet you hold the parade. Explain yourself, Governor Price. Yeah, what the fuck, Price? Celebration of our victory over the rebels, Grand Admiral. Did you really believe that holding a parade would hide the fact that you destroyed our entire fuel supply? In defeating Gain and Jarrah's, you have accomplished Busted. what the rebels failed to and given them a victory. Uh, Grand Admiral, I... I will deal with you. When I return. And I can't wait. Governor. That was really fun watching uh watching Price take a beating like that. Why did I wait so long to tell him? Oh, he Just... already knew, girl, don't worry about it. I thought there would be more time. He was right, and now he's gone. And it's my fault. You can't put, no, you can't put that on yourself. I was the one who was blind. You're right. No one deserves that honor. More than Kanan. 
Oh, she's gonna add a little beef for Kane in there, bet. That's sweet. See anything strange about the city? Uh, besides the refinery being on fire? Hang on a second. It's a match painting. <laughs> smoke. When was the last time you saw them shut down? Never. But that's probably just because of the parade. The Empire doesn't give days off, Sabine. Huh. Now that is interesting. That's a good point. didn't just save us. He completed the mission. And why is the Empire so My man can. I'll bet because Price he knew exactly what he know. was doing. Instead of admitting we hurt them. She sent all their workers to a parade. So what's next? The God, Empire Price is and an us? Idiot. We're not even yet. Where is this place and why have the wolves brought him here? I lived on this planet my whole life, and I can still get lost. <laughs> I have no I guess idea. Because you're kind of stupid, going. Ezra. <laughs> Sorry, uh, sir. I was attacked. It's gotta be a shitty way to wake up. So fast, like a blur. We silent, sir. Uh, this hey, calm is trying to investigate here. That was fast. <laughs> well, you wanted to send a message. What is that? What is what? Let me see. Looks like a baby rancor. <laughs> Wait a minute. Ezra Wait, Zeb's encountered him before. You should right. recognize him. I remember now. Yeah. Ah, it looked right at me. <laughs> Did it see you? <laughs> I don't know. Well, look and see. I don't want to. It's got creepy <laughs> eyes. Oh, give me those. Oh boy, it's coming this way. What? Yeah, Let's he's see. on you guys. Uh, you're right. At least it's alone. What do you mean? I mean, we can even the score. They took Kanan from us. We take something from them. I agree with you. Revenge Only is not the Jedi way. Us back to base. Now. Since we outnumber it, let's use that to our advantage. Whoa. With a big ass Maybe. nostril on the side of his head. <laughs> Whoa, the sky looks fucking awesome. It's like a 360 Aurora Borealis. What is that? 
This is stone. A Jedi Temple tablet? Where is it from? Jedi Temple. Nice. Because there is one on Lothal. We went there before. Season 2, I think? I was just thinking they should do that, like in the Hollow Man. Yeah. Oh yeah. It's kind of a crappy movie. Yes! They fucking kick his ass! What secrets? What else is inside the temple? Knowledge. Holocrons? Destruction. No! No! Get in! Spooky force magic. My favorite. <laughs> Oh, Rook, really? you're so pretty. Thanks. I think this is the best message we can send to the Empire right now. You know, Chop, despite all his misgivings about the Rebellion, he always believed we could change things. It's true. That's what I'll miss He always the committed most. to it 100%. That when none of us could find the answer, Kanan could. And always in the most unexpected way. Hera? Hera? Was your mission a success? They have no fuel for the factories. Their entire production line has stopped. Then we have a chance. We can still beat them. Fuck yeah. And I know what our first mission is. The Jedi Temple is in danger. And we're the only ones who can do anything about it. Another badass episode. The future of Rebels is starting to take shape a little bit. Um, they've crippled the TIE Defender factory, but they're not leaving Lothal anytime soon. We're gonna have some Jedi Temple monkey business now, which I'm looking forward to. The Force stuff. Rebels has a great way of portraying the Force. It's very mysterious and magical, which is a nice change of pace compared to the uh, rather scientific midi-chlorian approach to the Force. A lot of questions raised in this episode. What does the inscription on the tablet for the Jedi Temple, what does it mean? If this was a video game, it would be obvious. It's an upgrade for your force push ability. But since it's not, I have no idea, man. Also, what is Thrawn gonna do with Governor Price when he gets back from Coruscant? Is he going to strip her of her rank? Is he going to uh, straight up, like, kill her? You know, nothing's outside the realm of possibility. Um, how severe do you think his punishment to Price is going to be? Let me know in the comments below. You know, it's really too bad that Price is so fucking incompetent because we really could use a badass female Imperial character. Captain Phasma was a bit of a letdown. You know, Price clearly doesn't know what the hell she's doing. She just blew up all of the fuel reserves for the entire factory. Legends has some pretty cool people to draw from, like uh, Grand Admiral Natazi Dalla, for one, from Kevin J. Anderson's Jedi Academy trilogy. Those are some good books, man. Yeah, Dala ran the Maw installation. She uh, was the only female Grand Admiral at the time. And uh, she was kind of a cold bitch. She didn't put up with anything. Admiral Dala called together all of the all of the ruling moths of the Imperial Remnant and just Dioxys gassed the shit out of them and took over. Badass. And she had the versatility to later go on to become one of the leaders of the New Republic. There was also Director Izard of uh, the Imperial Security Bureau from the X-Wing series by Michael A. Stackpole. She was pretty formidable. Let's have some more of that, please. Less of Price's bumbling bullshit. The new canon does have uh, Admiral Ray Sloan, who is a badass in her own right, but um, we've had very limited interaction with her. We don't really know much about her yet. And as for Iden Versio, 
don't even get me started. Also, let me know what you think about the Wolves. On the one hand, they bailed the crew out when they needed them when they were on the run from Rook a few episodes ago, but they also gave Kanan instructions which led directly to his death. So I'm a little cautious about trusting these guys. The most obvious interpretation is that they are a manifestation of the will of the Force, of which there have been many in Filoni's shows. We've got the brother-sister-father trio from Mortis in the Clone Wars. Uh, we have the Bendu, the one in the middle. There's the five priestesses that live on that ancient world that was a wellspring of the Force. And it stands to reason that these wolves are also in this Force family of special beings. Well, I for one am very glad to have Rebels episodes airing again, although it does feel like it came at a terrible price. Still can't quite get over the fact that they killed off Kanan in the first episode back from the break. Pretty ballsy. Anyway, thanks for watching everybody. Make sure to check out the rest of my videos for more awesome Star Wars content. Leave me a comment if you've got a question or something to say, and as always, may the Force be with you.